hurry back. Oh, that's kind of depressing. <laughs> Who did you say just... that to? <laughs> he said to Lauren Bacall as she briefly left his bedside. Did she not go Great back and cool. get his medicine? She, she could I think she just left to like take his shit or something. <laughs> <laughs> Riri, I'll be right back. Riri, <laughs> <laughs> that shit is bubbling, dude. <laughs> what up, everybody? This is Jano here. Welcome to the Lizard Lounge Lord podcast. I am joined by my esteemed co host. Nanotech Rex. What's up, everybody? And uh, yeah, so we're going to get into it and talk about some random shit. Hope you guys enjoy. Sometimes it, it be both of them, and I'd be looking like fucking Krusty the Clown. <laughs> <laughs> no. I just be talking people. It's like, yeah, I just be like, just talking normal. My fucking hair looks like <laughs> I didn't think of Chris. Like, why don't you say anything, asshole? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're just looking at me, snickering and shit. They just honk your nose. <laughs> <laughs> and they run away. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that about? <laughs> I was in the middle of a conversation. Are you just going to fucking honk my nose like that? I saw this video, or I don't know if it was like a post or something, but they had like a Christmas tree, but it had like Predator in the tree, and it's like, oh, I've seen like that. I've seen that. Yeah, they're yeah, in the yeah. trees, like. Oh, you know what? I was thinking about putting him up there because I got a little figurine. Oh, that's badass. Oh, you know who I was putting, uh, thinking about putting up there? I'll show you. My boy Mando. Oh. Oh, that's a badass one. What? Where did you get that? That's cool as shit, dude. It was a gift, you motherfucker. Oh, shit. Damn, bro. <laughs> that's actually oh, badass. Gonna perish. How should I put him? Um, morning, like, he, like, he's guarding the tree. Ooh. So he's like in there pointing out, like, anybody come near this tree, you're gonna get blasted. Pew, right. pew. So, our arms down, pistol at hand, though, ready to go. Cape's flowing. Hell yeah. Where's Grogu? Grogu? Fucking dead. Damn. No, he's right here somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Mando, hang in there, Mando. Mando, please. Mando, 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 please, Mando, Mando. You gotta lean him back, right. bro. Supported by trees here. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck it. We'll put this little arm out. Nice. There we go. It's badass. I'm back. What, what happened from... What happened seven days ago, a week from now, that uh, piqued your interest? That piqued my interest? Anything that stuck with you since we met last time? Dude, that's the other thing is my mind and my <clears throat> my memory is kind of like <laughs> fading. I'm old. I'm just kidding. Um, the shit that I don't know, man. Like, and I think it's when I get put on the spot. The only thing that comes to mind oh, recently yeah. is that like I saw that... Uh, Japan's going to release a black and white Godzilla minus one video or like film, like re-release it, but in black and oh, white. Cool. And I was like, oh, dude, I hope that comes to America because I want to see that shit so bad. That sounds dope. Let's see. I'm trying to think what else happened. Damn. Oh, yeah. They were like, let's let's succeed one more time. Yeah. Release it in black and white. Still on that Godzilla shit. Oh, I got an early Christmas present from my brother. Let's go. Yeah. Love that, love that. Where'd you go, Gino? There you go. I went to go grab the gift. <laughs> it's a Nintendo 64? <laughs> yeah, bro. Let's and he also go. got me Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh, no way. Yeah, so I got 
like it's not an original controller like it's a modern one i think or a different like it's a different one but it's not original but it's like he's right yeah, he got me on this shit i didn't even know just like one just one controller or what <clears throat> yeah just one controller man can you hook it can you even hook that thing up still yes i think there's adapters that i can use and that's what i told him was i'm gonna use this shit to make content bro because like, i think there's adapters Fuck yeah that you can use so that, so that way you can like plug it into a TV or something like that. So I was like, hell yeah. Dude, dude. that's so sweet, man. Yeah, so now Fuck I got an yeah. N64, bro. And like, man, I had I seen wish him. I kept my shit, bro. I remember that's... having one. I just don't know what happened to it. Dude, that's basically me with all my shit. Like my Pokemon cards, my Yu Gi Oh cards. Dude, I Everything had old school Godzilla figurines. I, I had a bunch of old school yeah, fucking. Yeah, bro, I was thinking about that shit the other day. Dude, yeah, I had like a bunch because uh, I loved. Yeah, di- I had dinosaurs like shit from Jurassic Park when it first came out. Like, dude, a bunch of Transformers, yeah, yeah, yeah. all that shit, dude. I have mm-hmm. no idea where any of that all shit gone. is, dude. Yeah, gone, just gone. So who I knows? just feel like our parents didn't want to keep up with that shit anymore, and they were like, "Hey, you haven't grown up fast enough. So I'm getting rid of this shit," you know. So my grandparents actually had all my shit and both of them have passed away. And I don't, I guess between all that and all the moving and everything in stored, like, dude, I've looked through storage. I can't find any of that shit, dude. So yeah, I don't know if whenever it got moved, somebody got it and did something with it and sold it and said, fuck it. Like, Hey, this is going to be some money. I'm right. So who knows? But yeah, I don't Fucking know. As course. far as I know, dude, I can't find none of my old shit dude, from when I, from when I was a kid. <clears throat> so but yeah i also think it's one of those things where it's like yeah they don't want to keep up it's a lot of shit dude like they just have to store yeah just imagine them. all like, the things you've ever accrued in your life and i'm sure you can build up a small hill with it you know <laughs> yeah i mean shit you i'm having jump enough jump. time trying to figure out where to store all my shit in my apartment right now like i need to like move shit and get rid of that's shit. what i'm saying like right now everything that i own i feel like in this apartment has been gathered within the last five years or so you know oh, yeah. like it's not stuff that i've had for like maybe some sweaters or shirts and clothes and things like that but most of everything i mean recently bought i feel like that's interesting i have shit in my closet that's probably from like a good 10 years ago dude maybe more some like shit, what like um comics maybe comics for sure i mean probably old plushes like i had like this old charmander plush that i've had for like a long ass time just collectibles like figures and shit like that that i've had from yeah just a long ass time oh, just, okay like, okay so, yeah nice 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 probably some old shirts that don't fit that i just need to get fucking rid of like that kind of shit. Just I'm saying clothes, <clears throat> anything like clothes. Yeah, stuff like clothes that. for sure. Plushies pretty good. I don't really have, I don't really any own any plushies. This Nessie's probably going to be the, the next thing. I mean, I still have, I just own it's not big or anything, but I still have my, my original red version of Pokemon. So it's like, I still have some of my old shit, like from when I was a kid. So I have a Game Boy Yeah, I don't have any of that like... stuff. So none of that is <clears throat> gone. Damn. Honestly, it just kind of, I think those were my lessons in like, hey, you got to take better care of your shit or else it's just it's not going to work. Honestly, I think I got rid of most of my stuff because it just stopped working, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, other than that, it's not really much else stuff, dude. Yeah. I mean, shit, that Halo helmet is from Halo 3. That's I got that shit way back in the day. I mean, when Halo 3 first came out, dude, that was the original Master Chief. That was the legendary edition that came out. I was like, I remember, where, I don't remember, I think I was working at Whataburger. I don't know where the fuck I was working at the time, but I was thinking, I was going to school and still working, and it was like, I'm saving up my money so that way I can get this legendary version of Halo 3 that came hmm. comes with the fucking Master Chief helmet, dude. Like, that shit was just... I miss those days, dude. Like, I remember going to, like, the midnight release, dude. And then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, and then my parents being like, all right, okay, you better go to sleep because you're going to have to go to school. And then I'll wake up the next day. They're like, all right, you don't have to go to school. It's like, what the fuck? Hell yeah. So, shit like that. Let's go. Cool Some good days. Now, can you imagine your parents, like, kind of getting giddy, like, how are you going to tell him he has to go to school? And then Dude, the yeah. You're like, not going to school. You know? <laughs> to like, see my crazy, reaction. You know? like, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> They're over there fucking... <laughs> Mm, what do they call conspiring over there? Yeah, conspiring. 
for me. For your happiness. For my happiness, yeah. That's nice to know. Somebody conspired for your, <laughs> your happiness. It's true. Kind of a low-key flex. <laughs> Not many people have that. <sighs> What's other words for small talk? What are other phrases and words for small talk? The chit chat. Tiny talk. The what? Tiny talk? <laughs> Tiny chat. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> oh. Did I? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, mini. What did people in the mini, olden mini times. Speech. <laughs> you walk out on a stage. This is my speech. So I was making mini speech with my friend the other day, you know, nah, I don't like it. not right. <laughs> Tiny conversation. What do people in the olden times used to call it? Small talk is where it fucking came from. <laughs> I don't think that's right. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was coined way back then, right? All right. <sighs> Hundred Yeah, you gotta do the research because I'm. I see my computer from right here. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I can I see this. my computer from right here. <laughs> I got this work phone. Let's see. What is? No, nah, don't be searching random shit on the work phone. <laughs> <laughs> he says I don't already. Um, what was I gonna search for? <laughs> Any talk. <laughs> tiny talk mini speech <laughs> why a tiny talker pop up nah mini speech don't sound good mini what else is a, a good word for talking other mini. Uh, phrases for small talk Bab nah, <laughs> babble bro <laughs> mini babble oh. mini it doesn't. Why do you keep trying to add <laughs> a mini into it? Tiny babble. Ba, 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 ba. Small talk I... origins. That's what I'm gonna do. That's that's what we were doing. Let's stay on topic. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> you want to be wrong. Look at that. All right, here we go. The origin of small talk, though it may seem trivial at first glance. The origins of this practice go back centuries, all the way to 1751, to be exact. That was when British politician Philip Dormer Stanhope, better known as the fourth Earl of Chesterfield, that's right, first used the term small talk in his writings. Fucking, he said mini speech. Let's go. <laughs> mini speech. <laughs> nah, speech is like a fucking ceremonious type of word. That's not a conversation. Mini right? speech? Talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talk. Talk. Oh, mini lingo. <laughs> mini lingo. <laughs> nah. Little lingo. <laughs> little, little, little lingo. That's a quadruple L right there. No. What's five? You know, lizard what? lounge lore. Uh, little lingo. <laughs> little lingo. Yeah. yeah. Little lingo. Little history lesson for all you kids out there who don't know shit. That would be me. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> I know Sabo kids. <laughs> that would also be me. Do you have any other questions on um, origins? I got um, Google at the tip of my fingertips. What's like, other like phrases where else for small they be? talk? <laughs> um, where else would they be? What other tips are we too. talking about? What about every now and then? What the fuck every does that what does that mean? Now and then. Oh, we're looking up like phrases from where they came from. Origins. Yeah, phrases. Every now and then. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, Where does the saying, well, I want to know when. Or I guess, yes. Phrase finder. Oh, I got all the phrase for you, Gino. All the what? Oh, I got idioms. 
What'd you call oh, it? Oh, there's the list of the. <laughs> 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 that was a stupid one. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I got um phrases. What okay. is this? The phrase finder. Some phrases, word. sayings, idioms, and expressions. I'm gonna read the top ten, okay? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Uh a lot of ads here. Good thing it's not my phone. Uh number one. Not sponsored. Fool's gold. Fool's gold. Well, Who's gold? That's number one. Yeah, I mean it's just. What would be a what would be an example of fool's gold? I mean, an OnlyFans account. <laughs> <laughs> My only toes account. Your only toes account. <laughs> uh, number two. Okay. Such thing as bad publicity. I mean, I think that's honest. That's real, though. I I don't think that's, like, fake. Like, that is... That's probably the most realest one here. All right, three. Uh, pull the wool over your eyes. What does that mean? Uh, I think of it as, you like... Ignore when you're, it? Uh, you know, yeah, you're, like, you're ignoring it. You're, like... Yeah, I guess, but I... Like, you're <laughs> I also thought you're about, like, like... Hey, you didn't see shit, right? <laughs> Basically? Yeah. And also... This next one... Okay, go, go, go. Go ahead, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> you interrupted. <laughs> you interrupted. <laughs> no, bro. No, we need to move through this list. You're right. Let's go. What's the, what's the next one? What were you going to say? What were you going to say? I don't even remember. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll stop. Um, number four. Mal, del, mal de mar. Mal de bear. What the fuck? I'm clicking that one. What? What does this mean? Oh, that's not good. Go back, go back. Yeah, what does that mean? The meaning and origin of the expression mal de mer. What's the meaning of the phrase mal de mer? You want to take any guesses? Mal de mer? Yeah. Mal de mer. Mal de mer. Uh, something bad? I don't know. Like it's. You're not. You're not far off. You're on the right track. That's... You want me to give you uh, a hint? Mm hmm Okay. Uh has to do with the ocean. The oh, ocean? The ocean, dude! I hate the ocean, bro. <laughs> Just ah, kidding. Dude, it's scary. Yeah, that's the only reason. I don't hate it, but I respect it. That's the motherfucker is to not be fucked with. It's like... Oh uh, damn! That's so weird. That hit threw me off. Actually, if I'm saying, if I'm gonna, <laughs> Ooh, if I put like this image on my back, I can get like Godzilla dorsal face. <laughs> Edit this right here, and then just put it on. My back. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> That'll be the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. I'll give <clears> you, just I'll give, give it to me. Give it to me. I'll give you an example. I'll give okay, you an okay. example. Godzilla may cause mal de mer. Ah. It's okay. You want me to give it to you? <laughs> yeah, just give it to me. Okay, so it means seasickness. Seasickness. What the yeah. fuck? That's pretty cool to I know, though. You want to know what the origin is? Yeah, I, wanna, I mean, I'm assuming it's because motherfuckers were, like, taking ships. That was the only way to travel between, like, land. So it's, like, they motherfuckers mm -hmm. get seasick. Not, not far off, yeah. Only the very luckiest amongst <laughs> us will, uh, will be unfamiliar with seasickness. The three-dimensional freedom of a boat's movement as compared with the motion of land-bound vehicles make this one of the worst forms of motion sickness, compounded by the surfers or the sufferers' knowledge that there is no escape when at sea and the misery is likely to last for some long time. Mal de Mer is French, of course, and came into the English language in the 18th century. John Adams referred to it in his diary in February of 1778. The Mal de Mer seems to be merely the effect of agitation. It, the term <clears> had been in... Uh -huh. I was just saying, it's crazy how many people do have like seasickness and like some people just don't, Dude. I guess, right? Bro, my God, dude, the way he explained it, yeah, it's kind of spot on. Because I remember when I was on the ferry 
in Cozumel. Oh my God, dude, I could barely hold my shit together, bro. I never really? thought I would be a fucking victim of seasickness. But there I am on Mal de Mar on the fucking board, bro. <laughs> Jeez. Dude, I wanna, I wanna test, test it out to see it because I don't know if I'm like seas. Yeah, I've never been like on a huge boat or like even like a ferry type of boat. Go to Houston. Yeah, just go to Houston, ride a ferry. Mm. Oh yeah, come, come to Austin, pick me up. We go to Houston, we'll record and then it. I'll show you what it looks like. And then you, you're just like, <laughs> you're, you're, you're like waving to me, like I'm leaving. I'll be like. This is the head down, bun up, you know? <laughs> That's me, the whole video. Head down, bun up. The googly eyes on my back of my head, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but this last paragraph says, the term had been in use in French for some time before that and is recorded with the seasickness meaning by the late 16th century. It was also used in France to refer to another sickness of the sea that is scurvy. And according to the OED, there's a record of that usage dating from 1504. All right, cool. We learned something here. All right, number five is like the like the most American shit ever. Keep the ball rolling. <laughs> Keep the ball rolling. Oh, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> oh, fuck out of my face, Bob. Fuck. <laughs> uh, oh, another one. Foot in the door. Let me get the foot in the door. <laughs> you know, I I gotta get fast, or else I'm I'm gonna lose getting my foot in the door. Shut the fuck up. Is that it? No, oh, it's all of them. They heard me talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey man, we run this website. <laughs> no more for you. you. Euphemisms, famous last words. Famous last words. What Should would I you like? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Because uh, I want to see what uh, other people's uh, famous uh, last words are. All right. Cool. 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 I mean, I know that's also mm-hmm. like. Uh, what did you say? Euphemism? Because it's like, oh, it's gonna be your. F- those are your famous last words. Somebody says some shit before something. Oh bad shit! All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, cool, cool, cool. Hold on. I'm not. Let oh. me see. So let me see here. <laughs> let me see here. All right, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, Kurt Cobain, number one. Ooh, damn. Yeah, rest in peace. And uh, these final words were written in the suicide note. As we know, he did leave a suicide note before blowing his brains out. And this said, "It's better to burn out." Than to fade away. That was his last words. Yeah. Crazy. That is wild. Like, you go out with a bang versus, like, okay, you just kind of slowly live your life and then die out versus, like, dang, no pun intended when I said that. Um. No. <laughs> RFP. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dude, I, <laughs> it's so weird that, like, in awkward situations, like when you start talking, like for whatever reason, the brain just works and like say the worst shit possible, but don't realize it's the worst it's, shit possible. It's so yeah. you're like, oh shit. And you're like, you kind of like catch on and you're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry I said that. <laughs> like, I didn't even mean to like That's attack not anybody. That's what I meant. It's yeah. just, it's just what came out. And it's just like, dude, are you trying to be an asshole right now? Bad. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just leave. Steve, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> She's okay. still there. Come on. <laughs> no, um, Steve Jobs. Um, oh wow. <laughs> he meant to finish it off with, oh wow, I didn't even make the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Job's final words before his death were, oh, wow, repeated three times after a long last look at his family. <laughs> went on this death. How'd he I'm die? Sorry, I don't know, man. Why are you laughing? <laughs> My mind is going <laughs> to dark places, bro. King George V. Bugger Bunure. <laughs> what? 
I don't know if I'm saying that right. Burger Bogner. Can you read that? Not really. No, it's not focus. Oh. Burger Bogner. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that is. Burger Bogner. Burger. Burger Bogner. His, his doctor told him he would soon be well <laughs> and able to uh, visit to visit Bogner Regis again. Burger Bogner. And then, I keep saying this shit. But why would he say that though? And this is his last words. I don't know. That one seems sketchy. I don't feel like that was his last words. I feel like that was just convenient. Bugger Some, Bogner. Somebody dude. asked. They're like, what was his last words? They're just like, Bugger Bogner? Bugger Bogner. <laughs> they just kept yelling it somebody, over and over. Somebody who like blamed like the city. You know, and like, Bogner killed him. Bugger Bogner. Because this is 1830. Bugger! Bugger! <laughs> 1865 through uh, 1936. Bugger. Oh, bugger. Oh, you got Buddha next. Buddha. And Buddha says, I exhort you, all compounded things are subject to Vanish. Strive with earnestness. Hmm. That's deep. <laughs> is it? You just said, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> whatever, bro. <laughs> That's the. Oh, it's vanished. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you said Venetian. Like, like, isn't that like an Indian god? Like, it's like Venetian. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, let me read this again. Uh, all compounded things are subject to vanish. Strive with earnestness. Damn, he ain't lying. Because all our shit is gone. <laughs> I ain't even dead yet. All it's all gone, dude. I'm being earnest, Buna. What do I do now? <laughs> no. Humphrey Bogart. <clears throat> Humphrey. Humphrey, yeah, for real. What's, <laughs> what's Humphrey's nickname? What are they calling Humphrey? What are they calling him? They're not calling him Humphrey, bro. Like, what's his nickname? <laughs> hey, Humpa. Hump. Humpa. <laughs> Hump. Hump. Or Riri? What if they call them Riri? <laughs> Riri. <laughs> Humphrey, you know? Humphrey, Riri. Riri. What if it? What if it's? What if his nickname is Bugger Bogart? <laughs> Riri Bogart. Riri Bogart. <laughs> oh bugger! Well, anyway, Humphrey says on his uh, <laughs> last words, "Goodbye, kid. Hurry back." Oh, that's kind of depressing. Who did that's you say just, that to? <laughs> he said to Lauren Bacall as she briefly left his bedside. Did she not go Pretty back cool. and get his medicine? She, she could I think she just left to like take his shit or something. <laughs> <laughs> Riri, I'll be right back. Riri, <laughs> that shit is bubbling, dude. <laughs> 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 was it the soup? He's like, re reopen the door. I forgot he was on his oh. deathbed. No, oh, shh. Chill. <laughs> Chill. Me? <laughs> You're really gonna take a shit. Uh, <laughs> the nurse, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Laura. What was her name? Yeah. I think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. Lauren, that was close. Lauren Bacall. <laughs> Lauren Bogart. Um, Hunter S. Thompson said, Relax, this won't hurt. <laughs> the final line of his suicide note. Oh, another suicide note. Damn. Relax, this won't hurt. He's just talking to himself, trying to make himself be like, oh, I don't even want to think about that. Fuck that. I'm going to get the side of a suicide. I think we should move on. I agree. 
We're getting Things like last we've been laughing too much. Okay, moving on. Mm. What would you want your famous last words to be? Let's change it up. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the Godzilla roar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get shot and it's just Godzilla <laughs> noises. <laughs> Somebody get my friend an ambulance! You just fucking make me. <laughs> what you think, Mando? He just falls on. <laughs> He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's too funny. God, so oh, noises as you're dying. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I also like picture it like. <laughs> <laughs> what if you tried to do like the little, like making my feet? <laughs> 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 My cheeks hurt right now. <laughs> oh yeah, my too. Oh, I got a little spider friend up here. I need him. Mando's aiming at here. him like. <laughs> that reminds me of that Jesus meme. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he like double? Which I guess he's like yeah. that, but. <laughs> Did he say? Did he say? I think that's oh, from Dogma. Oh, Dude, so I need to get some water. <clears throat> get some water. Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll look for the next, the next line of shit we could read off. You do the Godzilla noise so well, bro. Wish I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> No, I still gotta work on it. <laughs> I feel like you've been practicing that shit, bro. <laughs> it's outside with Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce is trying to imitate it too, like. <laughs> Bruce is doing his best. <laughs> Just atomic breaths. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what we got next? Oh man, let's see. So I did find all of the well, twenty five hundred English phrases and sayings, and it starts from like A through Z. I can read a couple off. <clears throat> That's a lot, dude. A through Z. Yeah, it's twenty five hundred. Pick, pick your best, your favorite ones. Favorite? You think I got favorites? <laughs> oh, got favorites now? I, I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, this one sounds so familiar, but like, a bird in the hand is wearing two in the bush. Oh, wait, these are phrases again, right? Is what we're this? Yeah, 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 yeah. These are phrases again. That's kind but of similar it? to like. Um, two birds and one stone, no? Don't beat around the bush, and then two birds and one stone, right? And so then which it's this a bird one's... in the hand is worth two in the bush. Hmm. Mm, what exactly? All right. Not the first one got me clicking on it. I guess it's like the bird that you have is worth more than like what's what you don't have that's out there, I guess. I don't know. Even though there's it's exactly what I'm thinking. 
the proverb warns against taking unnecessary risks. So, like, if you already have basically one of something, then there's no worth. Don't like, risk it's not to go to... more. <clears throat> I guess it's something you say when somebody's trying to get, you know, lustful. What's the obsession with birds and bushes? <laughs> Big girls had bushes back then. Maybe that has something to do with it. You're not wrong. Oh, a bird means pussy, bro. <laughs> a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Right? Maybe that's why it's more uh, unique. Like, dude, you already got a girl. Like, why are you trying to go give more pussy? <laughs> Do you know what? You actually might know. be honest. <laughs> I don't know. Man, nah. <laughs> the confidence is there, bro. You could have pulled this all, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cut that out. Dude, it's definitely... It's definitely... <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely that, bro. I'll definitely cut that out. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one. A bolt from the blue. I've never heard that one, dude. Right? What the a fuck? Bolt okay, we're from the blue? A <laughs> bolt from the blue. What the fuck? I don't even I can't even think or guess what that is. <laughs> I think it's a <laughs> cop whooping somebody's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Big blue's coming to bolt your ass. <laughs> You're about to get bolted, kid. I see him walking with like his. You know how they have the police batons, but he has like two. Yeah. Of them, like he just. <laughs> He's got two. <laughs> he bolt his ass. He's like that One Piece character. He's got one in his mouth too and shit. You know? <laughs> Call him Boro. What's his name? Zoro. Right? <laughs> Bro, I don't even watch One Piece. Why? Why do I know that? Uh huh. You don't watch it. Sure. This. This shit ain't working. I mean, I'd be watching the fights. I'd be bypassing all the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. I'm also just realizing I love how close the camera is to your face. <laughs> oh, why do you love it, man? What's your obsession with me? <laughs> I didn't say I'm upset. I just say I can't zoom out. <laughs> I need to see Manto, bro. <laughs> That's why it was so hilarious because this thing was right here. Was like... <laughs> He's still aiming for that spider, bro. Put that shit down, bro. <laughs> Put it down. Damn. If you enter somewhere else, bro, I'm fucking running out. I live by a graveyard, dude. I haven't seen any spooky shit. God dude, bless. there's no such thing as ghosts, bro. I don't believe in ghosts. You don't believe in ghosts, dude? I mean, I believe that there's, like, it's hard. I just, like, because here's the thing. And it all kind of clicked when I was talking to somebody about it a while ago. It was like... If ghosts are real, then we should be able... There's so many people that have died in, like, this one spot, probably, that it's, like, that should be able to see some shit. You should be able to see ghosts technically everywhere, but it's, like, you don't, <laughs> so... So do you believe in aliens? Yeah, I believe in aliens. I believe. Same shit, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> I guess... Well, no, that's... Not, no, okay, so here's the thing with the ghosts, though, like... I do think that maybe there's a way that, like, if somebody dies crazy enough, like, the spirit, like, some kind of energy gets trapped there. But I don't think it's, like, an actual spirit still living in that area. I think the energies of whatever happened there can get kind of, like, recreated or messed with. Like, so I don't really I think, think ghosts are real in the terms that ghosts are the way we understand <laughs> what a ghost is. But a ghost is real. You know what I mean? Somebody to say that ghosts ain't real. Dude, we've seen the evidence time and time again. Dude. What do you mean? I've not seen like what a full on ghost. We've seen videos stacked on videos, stacked on videos of I mean, apparitions coming coming to life. Not coming to life, but like 
you know, being caught on video and, and whatnot. It's, I won't Dude, disagree that there's bro. weird shit that's been caught on video, but I just don't think it's explainable. Like, I don't think also, it's like a straight up ghost. I, that's just me. Like, I don't think it's a ghost like people describe, like a person that died and now they're living. Their spirit is walking amongst the dead. Like, I don't think it's that. Like, I think there's shit, weird shit out there, but I don't think it's that per se. I love how this we just turn this shit into ghosts like immediately. Yeah. Okay, well, I want to no. hear what you said that like you're gonna say something. Ghosts are real, dude. Like, there's no way you can at least like, <clears throat> like uh, maybe like be skeptical. I understand that, but like just but, flat out like, no, they're not real. Like, no, that's not that's not it either. But the way it's described, I don't think like I don't believe in that kind of like I, you know that's weird. Okay, like, so what do you not believe in? Like, I don't think that it's an actual person that's died and now they're just walking amongst, like, the living as a ghost, like, a spirit. Like, you know, I don't think that yeah, is yeah, what yeah. it is. I don't really think that's, like, when people see weird shit and I won't disagree that weird shit happens and weird shit has been caught on tape, but I don't think it's, like, a ghost in that sense of, like, <clears throat> the ghost is there, like, hey, I'm fucking with you, bitch. Like, you see me? I'm pulling this shit out. Like, I don't know. There's not enough, for me, there's not enough evidence of, like, having an actual interaction with like the ghost and talking with them mm -hmm. and finding shit out like i think it's just weird shit that's going on that we can't explain you know what i mean a hundred percent we can't explain it and like more more kind of more fuel to your to your to your point like in addition to like why you should also believe in ghosts like <laughs> we just don't understand everything you know what i mean yeah like that's what i'm saying like our perception of ghosts is just what we are capable to understand and like if we are seeing a ghost <laughs> and we can only picture that ghost or see it as a entity of something that used to be alive that's what a ghost is to us but that shit's real dude i mean i'm telling you bro the videos the evidence that's out there the the fact that people have you know, count or there's countless fucking just stories of people like having experiences like that. Something is out there that like maybe causes whatever it is to like, you know, manifest itself in a way into what is a ghost. But I don't know, just that's crazy. Okay. That, like, just, so, just to straight up say, I don't believe in ghosts. Like, nah, dude. I mean, no. but that's what I'm saying. Like, not, I don't believe dude, in I ghosts. <laughs> Turn your thoughts on that, bro. We're nah, like you can't. No, no, no. Bro. Okay, yeah, well, let's go. I, that's the thing. I I have tried. Like, okay, this is also the thing that happened too. Okay, to add to more lore, like my stepmom, she claimed that her her uh, grandmother's house was like haunted and all that stuff. Like there was ghosts there. They've all seen stuff. I spent mm -hmm. the night there, bro. Nothing fucking happened. Nothing. There was just not nothing at me. It wasn't creepy. It didn't feel weird. It was just a house, yeah. and it was just hot as fuck. Dude, it is dude. weird like, that, like, none of the gerbils went to your tent. What's going on there, man? What? <laughs> the yeah, like, what do like, the gerbils do have to do with, with it? I don't have any of, this any of this experience. It was just me. And they were like, nah, that dude's, that dude's weird. <laughs> Maybe I am the <laughs> he, ghost. I'm just kidding. He repels. He's a ghost repeller. Uh, okay. <laughs> He's a ghost repeller. <laughs> <laughs> And a hamster yeah. repeller, obviously. So I guess. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to fuck with me. Geronimo is out there. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing, too. Like, according uh -huh. to estimates by the demographic research at the Population Reference Bureau, PRB, as of 2015, there have been 108.2 billion who have ever been born taking away roughly 7.4 billion who are alive we get 108 100.8 billion who have died before us that's a shit ton of people bro there should be a shit ton of ghosts no why do you mean why do you say that? like why do you're, certain people that's, get that's to be a ghost your, and not your logic makes sense to you because that's just the logic we're used to like i just feel like this is something we don't understand dude like if the if a ghost is able to manifest itself it's just something that's 
like it's one in a million or like whatever number you listed like but i don't think we have the right to say that like but who gave just that because ghost we power, understand man. the logic of numbers that's how i'm ghost <laughs> works no i'm not i don't feel like i feel like the logic applies there i feel like as far as ghosts go i'm in the minority that i built like i don't necessarily believe in ghosts like i don't know like that's no, the thing I dude i would majority. i think i'm in the minority i feel like this okay, is people let's find talking out. about they don't believe in ghosts and i'm like you don't believe in ghosts? I've also like, just never had any personal experiences, fuck? bro. Like, I have. I mean, maybe that's why. Maybe I'm biased since I, I have I mean, had some like weird experiences anyway. I've know? tried, dude. Like I said, I'm not. It's not like I'm not trying to find. Like, dude, I'll go to a haunted place, like you know that kind of yeah, shit. Yeah, like, I'll yeah, check yeah, it yeah. out, but I've never had any experiences with it. But what do you think <clears> of all the ghost videos out there? Um, dude, there's easy ways to fake a lot of videos that people don't realize. You think people are just straight up editing oh, videos like that? Do you know how to fake that? 100%, bro. People want people that, that money, passion, dude. Like, like, no, it ain't about the passion, no, dog. No, it's no. about the money. They want that content money, dude. No, dude. They, no, bro. Like, I'm talking about videos <laughs> back then when the content wasn't a huge thing and videos were just starting and, like, you'd get weird shit, bro. I mean, and I don't like, disagree that there's the weird time. shit. But, okay, yeah. like... So that's what I'm I saying. Just, what do you say to those videos? Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's fake or, like, all of them are fake. There's a, I'm guaranteeing you there's a huge amount of stuff out there that's fake for sure. But, yeah, like, yeah, the yeah, stuff yeah. that is weird, like, there, yeah, there's weird shit that happens. We just don't have a... I want an explanation for it. Give me an explanation as to why it's a right, ghost. Right, right. Why can't it be, you know, something that's just so for whatever reason... Ghost. I mean, no, that's the thing. Like, I don't, I've never seen them. Wow. I can't, <laughs> I've never seen a ghost. I've never been contacted <laughs> by a ghost. Bro, I think I've even told my grandmother, when you pass away, you better come and talk to me. Where is she? I haven't seen her since. I'm watching my get like haunted tonight or some shit. Like, but like, dude, it's, I don't know. I have not had any experiences with it. And I'm not saying that it's not real. Cause you're right. Like, it's also one of those things where I'm not going to dismiss it because it's not proven yet so i'm not gonna 100 percent say it's not real but it's like i don't have enough evidence to believe that it's like okay there's ghosts out there like there's more evidence uh, to suggest otherwise to me like same thing with in a sense yeah i mean i still want to see an alien bro like i i mean not probably not like get abducted and see one like that's creepy shit but yeah i mean it is also weird that <clears throat> Maybe they I don't exist. Aliens, I feel like I, there's okay. something that we just can't comprehend. I think either. we need to also break that into two different people. Like, there's aliens as far as aliens that are, you know, things, organisms that are on other planets that live millions of miles away that we'll never get to. Like, I do think, like, that's a version of aliens. Do I believe there's little green people in the sky spying on us? And, like, not really, because it's, like, why? Yeah, we've seen a lot of weird shit and stuff, but it's, like... Mm -hmm. I don't know why are we still left so left out of the dark like there's so much stuff out there that we just don't understand so that's a, it's like one of those things are until i see full-on evidence to make me believe there's just too much evidence pointing to not it being real versus it being real you know what i mean like i'm not saying i'm not completely dismissing yeah. it but i'm also just i'm keeping an open mind because it's like hold on hold on like there's a lot of shit out there Dude, and I've watched so many UFO videos. I remember there was a point in time where on YouTube, I was going through so many videos. Dude, a lot of them were fucking fake videos. And I was so mad because I was like, <laughs> I get so hooked. And I'm like, this is fake as fuck, bro. Like, towards the end. You finally, like, like, see the footage. Yeah. And it's just like some <clears throat> poorly yeah. edited video. And it's like, ah, oh, so bad. Like, you still know that it is. Like, this is fake as shit. Yeah, and like even the thought of it still creeps me out. Like that movie Signs, dude, that came out a long time ago. Like I will, oh, that, that, the yeah. one scene that's burned into my mind is when they're in Mexico. They have the the party, like the, the party, kids party, right? yeah. and the camera like looks over, and it's like you you don't and notice him at by, first, dude. and then he walks by, and that's when everybody freaks out, dude. I remember being so creeped out when that shit happened. I was like, ooh, Mexico that was really Mexico. good, dude. It was so I remember, good. I remember, yeah, I remember uh, Joaquin Finn. Uh, what's the Joaquin Finn? He yeah, was like, Joaquin Phoenix, yeah. No, that's saying he goes, move, move. Because he's yeah. like, yeah, yeah. like <laughs> going to have that on TV. He is yelling at, TV, yelling at the TV, huh? Yeah. Yeah. He's yelling at the kids, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and no, yeah, that part creeped me out, too. And then when, like, they're downstairs in the basement and the kid's <laughs> against the wall and, like, the alien is, like, like basically there, too, and, like, you oh, see his hand, like, the fucking grab a kid. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, when he goes, yeah. Like, ah, 
<laughs> it was yeah. like, ah, he was there the whole time. They did a really good job of making it like a scary fucking alien movie, dude. And That's then, a special like, movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then the end was just kind of funny, though. So, like, when they just like, yeah. Come out. Like, when you actually see him full on, it kind of like ruins everything. Not ruins it, but you're just like, okay, like, they're not as. It was way creepier when you saw very little bits of them, like glimpses and everything like that. Like, I right. think that, and I guess that's the thing about like ghosts versus aliens. I think I'm more creeped out at the idea of aliens, like people being abducted and like being, you know, experimented on. Like, dude, but, honestly, I think that's that's kind of what's going on. I feel like we're just part of this part of this experiment. We're have just been, being watched. Have you been seeing more of this Mandela shit of just like, you know, people talking about how like, oh no, the cornucopia on like uh, the Fruit of the Loom stuff. Like now people are coming mm-hmm. out and showing like evidence, but it's like, I don't know. Oh, I, dude, I, I remember that cornucopia. I dude, honestly, same, I dude. I honestly remember it. Nobody too. can convince me otherwise. Yeah. I'm with whoever says like, hey, yeah, that was on there before. And I 100% agree. Yeah. The Sinbad movie with like the Shazam Sinbad, I could have sworn I had watched that shit when I was younger, dude. Like, I could have sworn, yeah. I remember. I don't remember owning the movie, but I remember like seeing like cassettes and videos of it, and like, like yeah, Sinbad I remember that being a AGD, thing, right? Like, I remember the one yeah. with Shaq too, for sure. But mm-hmm. I remember Sinbad in a similar movie, so yeah, yeah. No, that is also crazy because what if it is like just. Cause that's the thing they're talking about, like the that collider machine. It's like, what if I don't even I I don't think that's actually what's causing it. But what if somebody's doing some kind of crazy experiment that we just have no idea about? Some fucking Russian experiment underground, like you know, some Stranger Things type of shit. And it's like it's mm-hmm. now causing our world to like intertwine with other worlds or parallel universes. I don't know. That shit's crazy to think about. That would be an achievement <clears throat> one, and. I mean, that'd be wild. I don't think that's, I don't think we're near that technology. I mean, we talk about it in movies and comics and shit, but I don't fucking know, right? No, they're having all types of shit. Yeah. And then, I don't know, I guess that's why it's so important that shit like that is regulated, or I guess like science is also right. Like, you never know what you're going to fuck and get into and like fuck up or like create, and you're like, Whoops! This is not what I intended, but now we have to live with this. Yo, I fucked up. How? Well, I opened up a portal. <laughs> What's going through it? <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Dude, we just got some of the noises and shit. <laughs> Fucking smoke coming up the portal. <laughs> I thought you said portal. <laughs> I was like, why is smoke coming at your bow, bro? What? I was like, he's trying to charge up his fucking blast. <laughs> <laughs> That is crazy though. Like, if that's actually happening and something is happening to the world because of that, how do you fix that? What do we do? With it? What do we do then? Do we just act like motherfuckers? Everything's chill and real, and nothing's like fucking up. You know? I mean, what? I, I don't even think we know what the full on consequences are. Like, I don't think we know what to do. You know? Honestly, tell you the fucking <laughs> truth. Yeah. They'd say some shit, and we'd just be like, okay, so what now? And so then we'd yeah, what be are you like, gonna do? we'd still be, like, under control because the conveniency of everything, bro. We're so fucking cushioned. That's the best. That, oh, that's, nothing's going to change, bro. Like, even if something does go down, they're going to keep us reeled in, like, like all the time. Like, do you think there's a bunch of nefarious shit that's going on behind the scenes as far as, like, government I think there's big people out there that's definitely taking advantage of them. Yeah, I think so. I think there's definitely corporations that are like taking advantage of the people. Yeah, and like they're definitely definitely paying people off to like keep that going. But I'm talking more along the lines of like, do you think there's like secret experiments that are going on, like, you know, shady tests that people don't really know about and 
you know, public is actually being experimented on, on them without them realizing it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, everything's, I feel like everything at that level is in the pursuit of like profit and money. Maybe there's a small sliver percentage that's like doing it for the actual like innovative advancement of the human race or just, you know, just the advancement of just tech or whatever. But like for the most part, I feel like it's to make money. So on some level, yeah. But for the most part, I think if anything, they're just trying to figure out a way to like make the most of make the most out of people still you know what i mean so like whatever they're working on working on like that's the main goal like to find a way to like i don't know make more money off of us or something or i don't know i don't know bro. and if it was for that purpose like you know what's the end goal you know like what are we doing if we're yeah. trying to find like what is the purpose of all that it, I know power is, is, is like probably putting, you know, one of the top priorities, like we can't sustain our power with what we're doing now. So yeah, I'm trying to, I feel like we're just in looking like, for an alternative, alternative power source. I would think that's it. I think once we find know. a way to get like unlimited power, like unlimited. But see, even power too, like, you know, that's, that's profitable as well. So like, I feel like that's, you know, I feel like that's why it's one of those top, you know, <clears throat> batteries and shit you know i can like get into car. a whole futuristic like topic and conversation right now too just like hold on i gotta hold back <laughs> dude if cyberpunk seems so real like i feel like we're not too far off from that i feel like if there's any future kind of like because the corporate know, people just keep winning dude and then like exactly in that game what, yeah. And that game, it's literally over one, overran with population and everybody's just suffering to like get by. And it's, you know, you have to like, I don't know, the way the work game the makes it seem like you have to, to work. Like... Yeah, either work at the corporate level or basically become a, you know, a scumbag and do, you know, dirty work. I mean, if I you think... can find it. If there's anything that's gonna happen, like that's probably or just work a regular game. job and probably get killed in the process. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, because you, you know, don't like have the insurance to cover whatever fucking. Yeah, you don't have the insurance like... and shit, and they just painted a really good job of like the way things work now at a at a at a toxic and like high octane level. You know what I mean? Like the way that like the ambulance would work. Like if you didn't have a premium insurance, you were just basically left to rot for dead. And it yeah. was like, so what? Nothing, no help, nothing. And it's right. like, no, you don't pay for that shit. Honestly, it was like, see ya. That could be not too far off in the future. That's exactly that's what I'm saying. It's just, it like... doesn't feel too far off from like where we're at now. Honestly, and people play the game like, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, dude, that's and then shit. For all we know, that's already that's maybe what it's already like in certain cities, dude. Yeah, you know, honestly, dude. Yeah, who think... fucking knows, bro? I sometimes take for I mean, that's where the murder rate and shit is so high in like Chicago and New York City and shit. Yeah. Because it's not that bad over here in Texas. No. I mean, like, you can at least, I mean, we'll, we'll fucking get in shootouts and shit, but like everybody, <laughs> kind of almost everybody being strapped up and like just having some. <laughs> some level of <laughs> Man, don't. <laughs> <laughs> It's like not that bad, but I mean, we still have our, we still have our situations. Yeah. I want a gun though. Mm-hmm. You want, I want a gun, gun though? <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah. I feel like at this point, I want to just in case you know. First thing I mean, yeah. do is get a gun safe. safe and all that shit. Yeah, but yeah, you never fucking know, yeah. man. Never know. Yeah. <clears throat> You never know where you're gonna have to stop somebody. Freeze, motherfucker! Extend up. Extend up. All right, well, I think that'll be a good place to end it there. So. 
You can uh, catch us on social media. I am at Gino Sam. That's with a zero, not an O. You can catch my homie Tech at Nanotech Rex. At Nanotech Rex. Just like you heard it. We are both on Instagram and Twitter. So check us out. Give us a follow. Uh, we got some other YouTube stuff. I have another YouTube channel. So feel free to go check that stuff out. Uh, follow us. <laughs> 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 All right. We'll catch Peace. you guys in the next one. Later. Peace. Later, guys. I want to do the Kurt Angle stairs. <laughs> Gina, that's scary as shit. <laughs> So <laughs> 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 that fucking <laughs> <laughs>